Hey guys, this is Superior Productions here. Wait, what is this? This isn't a transformer. Let's get that out of here. Alright, these are the transformers that we are going to be talking about. And more specifically, these. These are my deluxe class figures, aside from Megs over there, that have been decked out and customized. So, we're going to look at the first one. First. <laughs> first one, first. Um, the first one I think we should look at is Barricade. So, let's take these guys out for a second. Let's take Bumblebee out the frame. And look at this. This is like everyone who survived the last night, basically. Yeah, they killed off Onslaught. Ugh. They killed off Nitro. Eh, nah, that wasn't... Eh, that wasn't too bad. He was a made-up dude. Mohawk. Eh. And Dreadbot. Four! Four Decepticons! <sighs> Just totally wasted. But hey, Barricade's still alive. And he was my favorite movie, Decepticon. Of course, they've never made a toy of my favorite movie, Autobot, yet. But I'll tell you that is at the end of the video. Moving right along here. So let's get the comparisons out of the way right away. We already kind of seen how he looks with him. And Berserker's a head taller than him. I'll get to him in the next video. And here he is with Megs. Looks pretty good with Megs. But he's not the right scale. Uh, Megs should be the leader class one. Fortunately, I don't have the leader class one with me right this second. So I'm not going to compare him with that. But I could do a video showing all the ones that are in the uh, Decepticon group from the last night. Um, let's get the comparison of him and Bumblebee out of the way right away. Um, here they are together. Yeah, I don't have the Wave 3 one yet. Um, anyone in the comment section below can say if they have the Wave 3 one yet. Uh... I was going to order them online, but they sold out of them, like, right before I was going to get them, so. And, you know, I do not want this one. Don't want that piece of garbage. <sighs> I want the real one. So, because this is basically the same thing, but better. Anyway, moving right along here. Here we have Barricade. Let's get up close on this guy. Um... First of all, let's just take a look at how he looks compared to his original CG render. So the CG render looks looks all right. The one thing I always had a problem with with this with this look is the tan plastic on the upper part of his leg, the baton, and the gun is not colored this nice gray plastic. It's actually colored this tan plastic like the gun. This gun, not the gun, the baton. <laughs> this gun, this handgun or taser, is this really kind of drab gray plastic, and so are his hands. And his feet are just black. You know, this guy wasn't really like. The mold was pretty good, uh, aside from the backpack, which, if you notice, I took the backpack off. Here's what he looks like with the backpack on. And in case you want to take the backpack off, it's really easy. There's no um, pin there that you have to remove. In fact, if there was, his backpack wouldn't be off right now. And I actually, I, I'm starting to, the backpack look is starting to grow on me. Because, you know, it gives him a little bit of beef back there. But it doesn't look good from behind, so. I usually just leave that off. You take it off like this. Just like that. Oh, boy. 
And so moving right along, here are the custom aspects of him. Uh, let's just take his gun off really quick. This is his gun. As you can see, I coated it all in silver before I customized the other pieces of it. And um, I colored these little barrel ends right here, gold on both sides, and I colored black in there, accent, black accent color. I did that all the way around, and let's see, yeah, right there. If you if you open it up, you could see there's. It was originally this tan plastic. I didn't color it all all in because in a stop motion movie, the audience isn't going to see this part. So I didn't mind that. That's this weapon. I I did customize that, and this the the baton. Let's just get the weapons out of the way first. I colored this completely in silver sharpie when I first got it because I didn't have any paints at the time. And when I got all my paints, I colored this in silver paint to mask the silver sharpie. And this used to be tan, but I colored it... Let's see if I can focus in on that better. Okay, I colored that silver because it worked better. And I colored the black, the end black, because I just thought that would look good, and it does. So, that's how I did this weapon. And his gun, I really like his gun, I like the design of it. It was originally this, let's see if I could focus, it was originally this drab gray plastic there, but I colored the whole thing silver, and this part I actually colored in fountain pen ink inside that little crevice there, and on the other side, it looks a lot better on the other side. And on the end, I originally had black on there. But it was it kept rubbing off too easily, so I just colored over it in silver because it looked good like that. So there are the weapons, and now let's get down to the figure himself. So what I did on him, this was this uh, kind of gunmetally gray up here, and I colored it bronze on those two areas. And I used some, let's see if I can zoom in on the face, the eyes right there. I, I lightly did some accent in there to make the eyes pop a little more. And, um, I don't know if you can see, I put some gold paint in between those little grooves on his head. I didn't color in the Decepticon symbol in silver yet, because, as you can see on the box art, it's blue there. So, I kind of like it in that blue. A lot of people, like Mr. Transformer 96, did this. He colored this in a very nice metallic blue. I don't have that color yet, and when I get it, I, I might actually paint mine in that. But uh, I'm still deciding on whether to do that yet. I, I'm very content with how he looks right now. So, anyway, now... Um, oh, and in the lights here and up here, I did some accents in there. Some uh, black accent color. And up here, I did some, like, silver paint in there. You can really do whatever you want in there. Like, I actually just took some sharp black Sharpie and colored it in that little spot and just smudged it around because... Just to make it look like something other than that gray plastic, you know. And, uh, right here, this little spot right here, on both arms, that used to be, like, this tan plastic, like I was talking about with the baton. And you can kind of see it. Let's see. You can kind of see where it was down there. And I colored that in with a nice silver. And then I colored this in gold and then blue. And then I put accents in there to make it really pop. The fists, I really enjoyed the most doing. They were this drab gray. And that was one of the things that bothered me about this figure. The mold of this figure, again, I really like. It was just some of the paint apps I didn't agree with. And the lack thereof. And as you can see, there's some like... On his arm, there's some silvery rub off, but that's easy to fix for me. I just use some enamel thinner, get that fixed up. In fact, I should do that right after I finish this video. Because look at this. Where is it? Right here. Look at this arm. I don't know how that got there. <laughs> anyway, I'm off topic. Um, I colored the hands completely silver, and then I colored the protect and serve brass knuckles, gold, 
So you can see it really looks, it really pops quite well. I should stop saying pops. It sounds like I'm in a cereal commercial because a snap crackle pop, you know. When I have to explain the joke, it's not very funny, and I know that. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, this is how I would have liked him to look without those little things on the top. But, you know, it's how he transforms. Anyway, moving right along, here are the legs. The legs I colored completely in silver, kind of like all the other things that I did. And then I added this gold little accent on the side. And I used some sort of smudging techniques right here, just because I thought it looked pretty good. I did the same thing on this side. Very different on both sides, though. And um, while we're at everything, let me just put the weapons back. So, if you haven't seen a review of this figure, or don't have it already, you can store the weapons right here, which is a very cool feature that the other figures didn't have. The thing that bothered me about the other figures, and that's why I can't, this is why I can't wait for the Masterpiece version, movie version, which is coming out, uh, third quarter this year, I think. Um, it isn't the version of this. It isn't a Masterpiece style version of this. Like, um, for those of you who are, um, who are, who are keeping up with the, Transformers-ish news, uh, the Bumblebee masterpiece came out. That's actually late, late news, because that's been out for a while now. So, um, that just came out, and, um, the Optimus Prime just came out. Now, I'm not a big fan of the, <laughs> the movie masterpiece ones for me. I just really want the, the regular movie deluxe ones. Uh... I don't need the Masterpiece ones. Also, some people like, again, Mr. Transformer 96, check out his channel. He has some cool customs there. His don't, oh, on, some of his don't transform, like his Onslaught and uh, Mohawk ones. His Onslaught, Mohawk, and Dreadbot ones don't transform, but they look like freaking incredible. Just check, check his channel out. He's got some awesome customs on there. And, uh, he colored this white, and I have white paint, and I tried to color the Prowl, which, speaking of Prowl... I wish he could be in the movies, but he's not. So let's just compare my Beast Hunter's Prowl. He's in like a ready pose. They're about the same size. He's like looking off into the distance. Thinks he's so cool. He is pretty cool. He's one of my favorite characters. Anyway, so the you can see this is a movie verse version. This is a prime version, so... Unfortunately, we never got to see him in Prime, but that is for another video. <laughs> so, anyway, there's him with Prowl, and, uh... Here he is with a different Bumblebee, my Dark of the Moon Bumblebee. They're about the same size, except he's a little bit taller. I noticed they've been scaling down the Deluxe class figures, and Voyager class figures, and Leader class figures a lot since Revenge of the Fallen. It's really weird. I don't know why they've been doing that, but it works. It works all right. Anyway, so um, there he is in robot mode, and there's also these gold accents in there. So that is really it for Barricade. Um, uh, I guess I'll see you in the next video. Please like and subscribe. Superior Productions out.